Hello dreamers, how are you doing? In the last couple of months, you must have noticed that the CRS score for Express Entry of Canada suddenly rises and suddenly it falls sometimes. So what is the reason behind it? Most of you get happy when it falls and some of you actually expect it to fall even more. And people obviously get very sad when it rises. So in this video, I'll share a logical analysis behind it so that you'll have an idea how it falls and how it rises. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos almost every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay guys, so this is the official website of Government of Canada, www.canada.ca and this is the official page where the results of the express entry draws actually get updated. So for example, this is the last draw mentioned over here, which just happened on December 19th. The CRS cutoff score was 439. So every detail is being mentioned over here. If you want to see the full text of the ministerial instruction, it's written over here in, in this link. If you scroll down, here it is given the CRS score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of December 14. So generally, this is like five to seven days before when the last draw actually happened. They do update this over here as well for more transparency. Okay, so if you click on this link over here, you'll find all of the previous rounds starting from 2015, the first round when it happened on 31st of January every round gets updated over here. Now I've got another website over here, movingtocanada.com. They've mentioned it in the tablet format. So it will be easier for us to understand through this website. So I'll just go to the draws, the first draw of uh, 2018. So first draw happened on 10th of January and the CRS score was 446. Now two weeks after that, another draw happened it dropped to uh, two more points. Now, two weeks after that, another draw happened, it dropped two more points. And after that, you know, it was consistent. Now, notice over here that the draw 84 happened on, uh, was conducted rather on uh, February 21st and the CRS score was 442. The draw 85 was conducted three weeks after the uh, draw 84 that is on March 14th and 456 was the cutoff score. So there was a sudden rise in the CRS cutoff score of 14 points. Now again just 12 days after that another draw happened and uh, it actually went down 10 points. So I think you're getting my point over here. If the draws conducted you know in a larger gap than uh, 15 days or more in that case the draw, the cutoff score would actually rise. Now, let me show it to you again. Like something happened over here as well. You can see over here, uh, the cutoff score was on October 29th was uh, 442. Then there was a difference of uh, around 16, 17 days uh, from uh, October 29th to November 14th. So there was an increase of seven points. After that, the draw was conducted in 14 days. In that case, the cutoff score actually you know, dropped again four points. Now, notice over here, the draw was conducted on December 12th, the 106th draw. The cutoff score was 445. Now, exactly one week after that, another draw was conducted. So the CRS score suddenly dropped down six points. There was no chance that if the draw was actually conducted on uh, 26th of December, which was just two weeks after that, then the CRS score would have dropped. So because the officials must have gone on vacations uh, for Christmas, that is the reason why they conducted the uh, draw on uh, December 19th. And that is the reason why the CRS score actually dropped. So what is the learning from here? If the express entry draw is conducted in one week 
or you know like 10 11 days the crs cutoff score would most probably go down but if the time duration is more than 14 days the crs score would most probably go higher so this is the analysis that you need to understand so because the 106th draw actually happened on december 12th if the 107 draw had happened on 26th of december in that case there wouldn't have been you know that much fall in the cutoff score now let's suppose uh, that if in case the there's one more draw conducted in this week the crs score would most probably go even further down but if the draw is conducted in the first week of january or the second week of january there would certainly be a rise in the cutoff score so please don't worry about it if the draw is conducted in the first week or in the second week of january there's a rise don't worry about it so i just hope that this analysis would make things pretty clear there would be some people who would already be aware of this thing but i'm sure there are many people out there who are not aware of this difference so i hope this analysis would be helpful for you so thank you again for watching this video please like this video if you really liked it and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.